Hey guys, hope you're having a beautiful day today. So as you can see here, um, this is the Anywhere Aurora Ryzen Edition R10. And I've had a, a user, a subscriber of mine, ask me if, uh, you know, what's the difference between the Aurora R11 and the R10. So here's the R11 over here and the R10. You know, they look similar. Is there any difference at all between them? What's the main difference? Well, uh, I was looking around the uh, the Alienware website and looking for many different options that they have. And it seems that the main difference that they have between these two are the CPU, right? With the Ryzen Edition R10, you have basically AMD CPU. You got the Ryzen uh, 5 3500. 73700X, etc. And then when you have the R11, it's right here, Aurora R11, and you compare the options, you have your uh, Intel, you know, 10 generation i5, 10 generation i7, and so on. So that's the main difference. Um, regarding color, I saw that in the Ryzen one, the R10, you could say, you could pick both white and black just remember that the black one has less rgb colors right so as you can see here i don't know if i could zoom in on it but as you can see right over here this part here doesn't uh, light up if you get the black color right but if you get the white color i'm gonna show you it lights up here it is so keep that in mind when picking the colors but other than that it's just a cpu difference between the two now one thing i wanted to do was i wanted to see which one you get a better deal better value for so i went to the R r11 right here i got the r11 i looked at the different options and i said okay let's pick this one this is uh uh intel core i7 10 generation a 10 700 f and let's compare it to this one now i know what you're thinking you're like Hey, you know what, Sage? The price is not the same. This one is basically $200 more. So let's modify a little bit. Let's click here. And let's put it up uh, $245 more, right? That will give us at least about an equal price, $1,322 compared to this one, $1,273. So eh, it's not much of a difference, right? but let's do that comparison so how much better is this cpu compared to this cpu well you could see here i went to versus.com and i put the amd ryzen 7 and this is just like a general comparison right versus the intel core i7 10700 and i'm hoping this is the k version and the price difference is about ten dollars you could say and here you got two different colors the red one is the intel core i7 and the blue one is the ryzen 7 right so you see they're about similar they're about the same you got a little more with the ryzen 7 a little more points compared with everything else um i could see your performance here cpu speed remember the blue one or the purple one is the ryzen and the red one is the intel i know it's a little confusing because usually you think amd and you think red right because that's their brand but yeah you can see here cpu thread 16 16 l2 cache 4 megabytes 2 megabytes l3 cache 32 16. Uh, you can see a little more specs here but yeah you could say maybe in some cases the amd one is a little faster maybe you'll get a little more frames per second on a game but i don't think it'll be that much maybe you'll get five or six more frames per second but you know if you're already getting around 120 frames per second 125 is not going to make a big deal <laughs> so yeah with all that being said this is the main difference i see between the r10 and the r11 edition gaming and both of them if in case you're wondering both of them already have the options for let me go back 
me go back on both of them so you can see they have the 380 option available and they have it for a very decent price $2,146 the GeForce RTX 380, both of them. And this one is a, about what? $40 more. You got a KF, so yeah, keep that in mind. Look at the storage for 112 SSD. Maybe you might want to increase that. I definitely recommend to increase that. <laughs> but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like the content, please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll be releasing another video, hopefully this week about why I don't build a PC and a lot of people are asking me they're wondering hey how come you don't build your own PC wouldn't it be better more beneficial it's cheaper well stay tuned I'm gonna make a video about that if you like the content please like share and subscribe and thank you so much for watching stay safe out there guys peace